Four names, that's all I'm gonna mention. Dior, Kim Jones, Nike, Michael Jordan. I think you guys know where I'm heading. Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome back to my channel, Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you haven't already and are new to my channel, don't forget, hit that subscribe button right now, as well as feel free to give this unboxing and styling video a thumbs up at the end. And don't forget to leave me comments if you have any questions about this unboxing today, and as well as hit that notification as we have some amazing videos coming out that you guys are not going to want to miss. So today is the day we have all been waiting for. I have been waiting for. I am so excited. I cannot wait to do this unboxing for you all. And as you've guessed, I'm sure these are the Dior Jordan in the lows. I know you guys are in love with the highs, but today we're going to be giving you a taste of what the lows look like. And as I like to mention, my videos are in chapters, but this is actually going to be a series. So this is the part one series. Stay tuned, hit those notifications because we are going to have a part two and a part three of the series as well. So just to get started with those chapters, you guys can hit those links at the bottom of the description box, but I do recommend watching this video all the way through. Today, we're gonna to start with the amazing overview of this insane silhouette. Then I'm gonna talk about sizing on this shoe, and then we're going to go over our summer tee styling. We were able to cop some items from the men's 2020 fall capsule which was done with Dior and Jordan. So I can't wait to show you guys all of the styling that I was able to put together with those pieces that I copped. And then we are gonna conclude with resale on the shoe. You guys are going to have your minds explode if you do not know how much these shoes are reselling. So definitely stay till the end to watch that. And I can't wait to get started. So let's do this. All right, so before I actually do this unboxing, I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about how difficult it was to actually cop this shoe for most. So the process that Dior had you do was go online to their website and you actually had to basically enter a drawing and register on their platform. So the first step was that you had to choose which silhouette you were interested in buying. Then you chose your size. After that, you actually had to select a store that you would be able to go and pick up the shoes at. So unfortunately, if you lived in an area where there wasn't a Dior store that was actually getting these specific shoes, you were unfortunately out of luck. And I say that because once you actually get selected, they email you a QR code, which then links to your name. And then after you get that link, you have to make sure that you have an ID that matches the name on that QR code. So even if you had somebody in another state entering for you under your name, unfortunately, if you're not there to pick it up, that is just no bueno. That means no shoes for you. Mm -hmm. And so luckily I was able to apply for a store in New York because that's where I'm based. And the store ended up selecting me and I did receive that email and that QR code. It did seem though that people were getting their shoes before me. So I was a little bit worried, but it turned out to be a case of they were just limiting the amount of people that were able to pick up their shoes at the same time. I initially thought it was just gonna be one day, one set time, everybody would line up and go and get their shoes. Instead, it was more in a staggered setting where just a few people a day were able to go in and pick up their shoes at a scheduled time. And so after I got my scheduled time, which was probably the most exciting phone call I could have received, I then had my pickup time where I set my calendar, of course, so I would be able to go in and get the shoes.
bright. It's like 90 degrees outside. About to walk across the street. Got the viewer in the background. Looks like there's already a slight line. Don't know if those are people who've won the shoes or if they're just spending the stimulus check money. Either way, hoping we don't have to wait long in this line. Like I said, it's really toasty you know? Toasty week, toasty day out. Uh, we can see how these shoes fit, how they look. Let's walk across the street. So close and so far. So then I was able to just go into the Dior store. It wasn't really a wait. There's no line, which is nice. They already have you marked in the calendar, so everything is all set, ready to go. And I was able to go into the store and it was nice VIP treatment. I mean, walking down the stairs, going to the special room where you're able to then just view some of the castle line. I was able to luckily just cop a few special items that I could add to my wardrobe with these amazing shoes. And after that, you know, I got my special bags as you guys can see over here. All right do any video inside the store. Sorry about that, guys, but we have the bag unmarked. Completely white, completely safe. Okay, to walk on the street with them. So we're in a car. <laughs> Can't wait to get <laughs> to show you all what it, what they look like. Stay tuned. They had special made Jordan Dior bags, which was pretty exciting to just receive those. I think I'm going to keep those bags for a long time. But yeah, that was the process. It was a little intense, but well worth it. And I'm just happy that I have this shoe so that I can do an unboxing with all of you. All right, let's get to the grand finale, basically, which is viewing this shoe. Are we ready to do this? I don't know if you guys are ready, but... I sure am. <sighs> Fingers are tingling. Ready to unbox this beautiful box. My goodness, this is a quality box. If only you guys could feel this. This is no paper box that I'm used to opening for all of you for unboxing. Dior really put in that high end luxury tone and feel to this box. My goodness, and this is magnetic. Woo! Open up that paper. Look, I'm playing peekaboo here. Can you see me around the box? All right. Woo! My God. These are so much better in person. Oh my goodness. We've got so many goodies in this box. I'm like trying to take it all out so you can get a look at all of them. All right. I think I got everything in there. Quality Dior tissue paper. Gotta have that to protect your shoes. Don't want to have any damage. No damage on this box, everyone. This is a mint condition. All right. Place the beautiful Dior Jordans up on the table for everyone to see as we analyze this shoe thoroughly. Let's start with all of these shoe bags here. This is quality. Oh my goodness. Actually, I feel like if I put these together, it's going to complete. Oh wow. Look at that. I'm gonna show you guys what this makes. It's the wings. Yes, Air Dior. Now those are some shoe bags. My goodness, I am so happy to have these. This is completely embroidered nicely on here. These are some quality bags. And then we've got little mini bags. Let's see what's in here. Ah, the wing trinkets to match my necklace. Hi, I wonder if I could even add this on there. It's way bigger. Love that. So definitely going to be rocking that on the shoes as well. And let's see what else we have. Oh, the Jumpman, of course. 
Gotta have both teams, Dior and Jordan on there. Then last but not least, some other laces, not just the gray. We've got white with these awesome silver metallic tips as well. Those are lovely. Oh, they're so organized in how they packaged everything. Came in these cute little baggies with the Air Dior on them. I'm extremely impressed on everything that was included in this box. My goodness. Even these insoles, you get two options. Look at how cool these are. The Dior, it's even like lifted up. Oh my goodness. It has that 3D oblique effect going on there. I love that. And a light gray. Okay. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. So as you guys have already known about this shoe for a while because we saw this in the men's fall 2020 runway show in Miami where the models of course were rocking none other than Air Jordan High Jordan 1s on the runway. Not the lows but the highs so we got a little taste of what was coming and yeah, that was the way that Dior, Kim Jones, and Jordan decided to display their shoe for the first time. We also saw them rocking the shoe as well on the Stussy Dior runway as well. So we've definitely got a nice little teaser of this shoe in multiple shows. And of course, Travis Scott, we definitely saw a leak of the shoe and him in them, of course everybody if Travis Scott has it's like everybody wants it and then it started getting leaked on different people's social media pages so those who were pretty much friends and family of Dior or ambassadors they were getting pairs of the shoes so definitely I never actually really saw anybody with the lows and that's why I'm extremely excited that I'm able to present the unboxing for the lows just because I feel like it was saturated with everybody who had the Air Jordan 1 OG highs so this is a nice kind of breath of fresh air to give you another unboxing on the other less, I guess you would say sought after silhouette, but definitely I'm not saying I'm not happy with this shoe. I'm super stoked. And so let's go around the shoe. The first thing that I noticed is just popping is this translucent outsole. It's so icy. Oh, it's like burr all the way underneath and around. And of course we have that Air Jordan and the Wings logo. It's see-through on the bottom there. Got that little translucent icy see-through outsole, which is beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Then we kind of have almost this light gray midsole going around, followed by a white wrap around, which this is hand painted. They definitely took their time on this shoe. My goodness, you can definitely tell that this was painted on the shoe. This is not just a fake cheap rubber piece. This is definitely a palette of just gentle shades all over the shoe because it's just, you know, very neutral and subdued, but then you look at the swoosh and how well it's been embroidered. These shoes were made in Italy. I mean, the seamstresses definitely took their time when they were putting this swoosh together. I mean, I've never seen anything like this on a Jordan shoe. I mean, this is just so well done. I can feel Italy in this shoe right now. I feel like, my goodness, this is some quality. And I do talk about the different qualities of leather on a lot of the Air Jordan 1 silhouettes. And I talk about basically how different, you know, the quality can be. And this is some quality leather. Oh my goodness. Like this is just beautiful leather. Absolutely beautiful. They definitely picked the creme de la creme leather on the shoe and I'm so happy they did because obviously, you know, this was not a cheap shoe to say the least. 
I'm definitely getting like older vintage vibes from this shoe as well. They're definitely taking from the 1980s generation of when Michael Jordan was playing basketball. So I love that they kind of kept it in that genre, which is so nice. It's basically balancing out just a timeless silhouette. The silhouette has been around for so long and, you know, it's just so nice to see it with a luxury line. I mean, they definitely took high-end luxury street wear and combined it with this sporty basketball look and the two just mesh so well. I mean, Kim Jones is literally a genius and I just wish that they would have collabed together sooner. This shoe is so on point. Then I'm looking at the laces. We've got like this light gray lace going on here. We've got the Dior logo with the swoosh and the air. Then we have this beautiful white tongue and it's definitely got a nice intricate pattern going on here lace leather lace locking system here of course we've got the metallic silver tips that just kind of give it that hint of luxury then i'm looking at this and we have a beautiful gray shoe tree to match the shoe that's when you know like they are literally not cutting on their budget for a shoe like this and then oh my goodness we even have our number of shoe on the inside of here so for those of you who don't know they made 8500 of the air jordan one highs and 4700 of the air jordan lows and the reason behind the 8500 was because 1985 is when the Air Jordan 1 High OGs came out and that's where you get 8,500. Unfortunately, that probably isn't the highest number that we wanted because that made this shoe extremely limited, but that is how they decided to only make that amount. And now we're looking as well at this oblique kind of pattern on the swoosh. If you are not familiar with Dior, this is a very like vintage, pattern that we've seen in the house of Dior before. And they just kind of reinvented it in a different way by just filling in the swoosh here. I mean, it's so subtle or subtle, but uh, it really just pops out the shoe. It's almost like 3D. And we've definitely seen this oblique pattern on previous silhouettes. So one of the most popular shoes, which I actually have right behind me, is the B23 high top sneakers. And those things flew off the shelves. I've seen them all over Instagram, all over people's different social media accounts. And it was just a popular silhouette. And it was that oblique pat pattern that we love so much. And it's so nice that we get to see that on these Air Jordan 1 lows. I mean, it's just nice to see it in this quality and to be able to feel and see the stitching and the embroidering on this is just so lovely. So lovely. And then I'm gonna look inside the insoles here. It looks like we've got a Dior and Jumpman logo on there with just some simple gray insoles. Then we've got the white and gray upper and the medial and lateral side are both just mixtures of gray and white overlays and underlays. All together, this is just a beautiful shoe. Everything about it, all the color choices they went with. I mean, I'm just so happy with how they created and made this shoe. It's definitely the top 2020 shoe of the year, in my opinion. Then on the back, we have the Air Dior with the wings, of course. And that basically completes the silhouette. I think we've managed to, to get through it, but so excited to have these in hand and being able, of course, again, to be showing this to you. All right, let's get into the sizing portion of the video. So for this specific silhouette, you did not want to make a mistake on your sizing. There was not an option to make a mistake. If you made a mistake and you got the wrong shoe, you're stuck with that shoe. There's no way that Dior is going to be like, oh yeah, no worries, like let's pull you a different size. Not gonna happen with this silhouette. Way too precious of a shoe to mess up on your size. But luckily, this isn't an unfamiliar silhouette that we have not seen before. You guys have heard it in all of my other videos. I talk about the Air Jordan 1 silhouette, mainly in the highs. 
but the lows are not a stranger. They are the same size fitting. I stuck with my normal go-to size of 7.5 in men's, which is equivalent to a woman's nine. I didn't feel like there was any change just because, you know, it was a designer collaboration with Nike. I didn't feel like the the size changed whatsoever. It was exactly on point to this specific silhouette. And so I would definitely recommend staying true size if you're looking at buying these in the resale market. Do not go up, do not go down, stick to being true to you. I know that a lot of you may have been in the past or even now confused with the difference between an Air Jordan 1 Low versus an SB Dunk and the two shoes are not the same shoe. Don't want to break <laughs> break the news to you, but yeah, they are they are different shoes and I definitely think uh if you're looking to buy an Air Jordan 1 versus an SB Dunk, you do want to try the two because I have varied in sizes on that. I actually went down half a size when I bought the Comme des Garcons uh, collab that they did with Nike on their Dunks. That specifically as well was not an SB Dunk, so you have to be careful as well there too because it could just be a regular Dunk. And again, those are different too. So know your sizing, especially before your going after a high sought after shoe like the Dior Jordans. Let's get into the styling portion. This is a very exciting portion today because I was able to cop a few items from the Dior Jordan capsule. And my last video that I shot on the Brooklyn Bridge was those Ben & Jerry SB Dunks. So the Brooklyn Bridge just so happens to be a very special place, I feel like, for shooting different clothing options with amazing shoes. It's just a great environment to get, you know, just these great still shots as well as great video footage. And so that's where I decided to style my Dior Jordan capsule items. First look that I decided to go with, obviously this is quite a comfy collaboration with the options that I decided to go with. Uh, but I did this styling portion on all t-shirts because it is summertime right now. And I know that you guys are definitely thinking about t-shirts and keeping cool since we've had this insane heat wave in New York right now. It's been crazy hot out here and so humid. So the only thing I want to be in is a t-shirt. I'm not looking to rock sweaters or sweatshirts right now. But uh, let's get into the first look. So... As you guys can see here, I am actually wearing one of the t-shirts that I styled. So I actually got the t-shirts in different sizes. I wasn't quite sure how the size range would be. This is an extra small in the navy colorway. And this is some insane stitching. Let me, let me just tell you guys, Dior makes quality stuff. I have been a Dior fan for a very long time as you guys can see. I've got some other Dior pieces just kind of in my backdrop because I've been a fan of theirs and I love to accessorize with a lot of their products and so with this first look you're also going to see me wearing some Dior pieces including this amazing accessory piece that I got here. It was part of the Air Dior capsule with the wings and it's in that kind of metallic silver colorway. So I was wearing this of course with all of my pieces. But now getting back to this first look, uh, I paired this with just some simple gray workout shorts. If you guys were able to see the whole capsule shot with Travis Scott, obviously I was kind of trying to align things with kind of how they styled things and he definitely had some neutral toned items that they paired with the t-shirts and so i just think that navy and gray works so well together it plays off the hues of the shoe brings out the navy and that oblique and obviously it's just a comfortable cozy outfit especially for the summertime for the second look i wore another t-shirt that is basically the same exact t-shirt as this nicely embroidered but in that light terry gray colorway and that size was actually a size medium so you guys can see how an extra small fits versus a medium on me and you know for me personally i think i would rather go with the extra small i like things a little bit more fitted but 
I also don't mind that kind of baggy oversized fit as well. So could rock a medium as well. And I tied that in with the navy shorts. So kind of did the flip opposite where I was wearing navy on the top, gray on the bottom. This time I've got gray on the top and navy on the bottom. Again, summertime, it's hot. I'm trying to shoot <laughs> in some cooler outfits. And that of course is why I decided to go with some kind of terry cloth navy shorts, which I think again, Navy and gray is just a great combination. As you can see on the silhouette, those are the colorways. So I wanted to kind of keep it in that color sequence and not really steer away from it to take away from the shoe because the shoes are so beautiful and I just want people to definitely see that with whatever outfit I'm wearing. I'm not trying to wear like hot pinks and oranges in the styling portion for this specifically based upon the fact that I want you to be able to see how that shoe looks with uh, these neutral tone outfits that also are present on that shoe. And so I also wore a hint of a little brighter color just because I wanted to kind of show you guys a little accenting and how it looks. And I just copped a bucket hat that was a Stussy and Nike collab. And so I was wearing that hat with that look. And I think that altogether those colors just kind of mesh really, really well. And of course you're seeing this on the Brooklyn Bridge and I feel like it's very difficult to take a bad picture out there. Of course you get frustrated because, you know, sometimes it can be so congested with so many people, but you know, luckily I was up at, yeah, that's right guys, 5 a.m. to shoot this video for you to get the best lighting possible. So that is why you guys are seeing some of those cold and hues and these images. It's because I got up bright and early just for you to get the best quality shots they could. And now moving on to the last look. So I was only able to cop two t-shirts, which not complaining about, don't think I'm complaining. But for those of you who weren't able to cop any of the capsule pieces. Luckily, Chinatown Market came out with an incredible shirt. I actually got hit on an email from them and it was basically saying that they were launching a Dior collection. So I hopped on that and I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this t-shirt. And it only cost me around $40, which is insane. These t-shirts were not on that same price point. Sorry, not at all. But if you're not trying to splurge and you still want to rock the oblique kind of swoosh going on there with the Dior wording, Chinatown Market definitely did an amazing take on that t-shirt. I get it. It's not Dior. So some of you hardcore Dior followers are going to be like, ah, oh, no, that's fake. But if you understand the brand Chinatown Market, you do know that they do their own takes on different designers. and. I really was impressed with this specific t-shirt and that was just in a black. So as you guys know, I've said this in most of my videos, I love an all black outfit. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. And so I'm giving you an all black outfit here with a nice black and white Chinatown Market t-shirt matched with none other than some black pants with, of course, some Dior on the side of those stripes. So I wanted to kind of keep it obviously in this designer's range. So I wanted to keep it with the house's designs for this last look, since obviously I didn't have three summer, summer pieces to show you guys. So that's where I was keeping in that range with this, this specific Dior designer. And of course, Black is going to go well with these shoes. I mean, I can't hate on black. It's just it goes with everything. What can I say? But I also just wanted to give you guys, you know, a different taste instead of just seeing shorts. I wanted you to be able to see pants as well paired with this low top shoe. And the thing I love about the low tops is I think that, you know, you just have great options to kind of, you know, do that little ankle look if you want to show some skin. And I think that those black pants just really helped accent those shoes in this last look. So those were the three looks, guys. Definitely want to hear your opinions on how you think I styled it. Which option did you like the best? Let me know as well. Did you guys cop any of the pieces from the Dior Jordan capsule? And if you didn't, what would you have wanted to, to cop? Or are you looking to even buy them on the resale market? I want to hear from you. 
let me know in the comments at the end of this video. So typically for the resale portion of my videos, I bring you the resale prices that are only through StockX. Today's resale portion is actually going to be brought to you by the Suplex app. <laughs> Suplex has everything for buying and selling sneakers, as well as all things streetwear. It's basically like the Swiss Army knife for buying and selling items. Nowhere else can you view the prices of the top five resale platforms in one single search. And if you don't know what those top selling five platforms are, it's Flight Club, Stadium Goods, eBay, StockX, and then GOAT. And so you can use this app to view prices and how you want to sell your shoes or streetwear. The Suplex app also has a reseller view, which allows you to be able to see the deductions taken out fee-wise for each platform. So you don't actually have to do the math. Suplex does it for you, which is amazing. I hate math, but I'll do it anyways. But thank you, Suplex, for giving me a platform that does all the math for me so I actually know how much I'm going to profit without having to deduct those fees. It's extremely easy to use, and not to mention it's free to download. It's definitely the first place that you want to go before you decide to buy or sell sneakers, sports cars, or any Supreme items when they're available. Okay, so now we are actually going to look at the Suplex app in real time. So as I mentioned previously, the amount of shoes that were made was extremely limited. So in the lows, there were only 4,700 pairs made. And in the high tops, there were only 8,500, which is what has really increased the value on this specific silhouette. So the Dior Jordan lows retailed at $2,000 and the highs retailed at $2,200. So first we're gonna take a look at the price range of the lows. Then I'm going to take a look at the price ranges for the highs so that you can get an idea of how much these shoes are going for in the resale market. So let's get on our Suplex app. I'm gonna go through and basically look at our different options on different platforms. So I'm going to start with StockX. So it looks like a 4.5 is currently going for $33,000. Go. That's insane. And then we have an 8.5 on the lower end, which is going for $7,542. Then let's look at some of the larger sizes. We've got a size 11 on the lows, which is going on the lower end for $7,350. And then it looks like for the bigger sizes, we've got a 13.5 or 13 .5 that's going for $36,000. My good God, that's a lot of money. All right, so now let's look at GOAT in comparison. So out of the smaller sizes, it looks like 8.5 is currently going for $7,500. And then a size 14 is selling at the highest for $22,000. A little bit more of a bargain than that 36,000, I guess. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to the high tops. Let's see what price point we have going on for those. So on StockX, we have, it looks like the lowest price point is going to be a 13.5, and that's currently going for $10,000. And then for the higher price, it looks like the highs in a size six are going for $23,000. Now we're gonna look at GOAT for comparison here. So it looks like a size 10 on the lower end is going to be going for $11,000. And then a size 7 is going for $25,000. 
And now let's look at some of the consignment stores, so Stadium Goods and Flight Club. It looks like they currently only have a few pairs, and so those pairs are ranging in the 20,000 marker, which is a lot of money. All right, I just want to thank Suplex so much for creating this amazing app. You have made my life so much more simplified. And so don't forget, Suplex motto is buy, resell, repeat. So go out there, download their app. It's amazing. It's going to save you so much time and energy, and you're going to save the most money that you possibly can through using their app, either if you're buying or you're reselling or if you just wanna repeat and do both, just like they said. So thanks again, everyone, for tuning into Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and I just wanna alert you guys that once again, we will still be having two more parts to this Dior Jordan series. So in the next portion, we are actually going to continue with their capsule line, but in the sweater options that I got. So we're going to talk about sizing and show you some different looks with those sweater options. And we're also going to talk more about Kim Jones. I unfortunately ran out of time today and didn't want to make this video an hour long segment. So we're going to throw more history in about that designer in our next part two video. So once again, if you haven't already and you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end. Let me know your thoughts on this unboxing, what you thought about the shoes and the styling portion, as well as don't forget, download that Suplex app. It's a great app and it's going to benefit you in so many ways. So until next time, hit those notification buttons and we will alert you as soon as we have another video. Take care, everyone.